What is up gamers, it's Geo here and it's that time again where they release a new concept ship and that ship is the Anvil Carrick or I would like to say release the Carrick. Now what's funny about this ship, what Ben said is the Constellation is more the Millennium Falcon and then this ship is more of the Voyager. So that lets you know that this ship is hands down made for exploration. This is gonna be the mother of all exploration ships as of now so if you have a constellation Aquila, um i would definitely trade it or melt it for this ship um it comes with lti it is an awesome ship it looks beautiful so let's go ahead and hop into some of the specs but before that i want to talk about the exploration i guess i did on the page something like I, how i did with the the herald where you have to sit there and scan and look at the different targets but this one was for exploration so they gave you different choices on the website when you go through it was it's real cool i would highly recommend you guys go check it out yourself but you would go through different parts to the uh space and you click on there and it gives you two decisions and based on your decisions uh you keep going through space unfortunately um i didn't get all the way through i ran out of gas so that sucks for me but definitely go check that out so let's get into the description Boldly go, the Anvil Carrick has been the vanguard of every UEE exploration effort in recent years. Featuring the reinforced fuel tanks for long duration flight, a highly advanced jump drive array, and a dedicated computer core room that allows it to put maximum processing power into the jump charting operations. Originally a military exclusive, the Carrick is now available for civilian use as a Pathfinder spacecraft. The ship features onboard accommodations to allow truly self-sufficient flight, including a crew medical and repair facilities, and a mapping-oriented sensor suit capable of always charting a route home. So from what I just read, this ship may be my favorite second ship in the game because one, I love exploration and this ship is dedicated to exploration. It's one of the things I used to do with Mass Effect all the time, just to go explore a whole bunch of planets and that was always fun. So I got that. Then it has a repair bay and a medical bay because now they got ships coming out in the future that I don't have to buy no more because it's in this ship because I didn't want to be a dedicated medical or dedicated repair ship but I have that option on this ship even though it may not be the master at it like those ships it's still a feature there that I don't have to go and get from the other ships so I would love to see how that's going to work out now I'm going to go ahead and hop into some of the specs now some of these are not set in stone it could change so keep that in mind like a long time ago the character was actually smaller than the constellation now the table has turned so it actually got bigger so really a lot of the ships they've been getting bigger and better so keep that in mind focus exploration length 123 meters mass 180,000 kilograms max crew five cargo capacity zero freight units primary engines two tr6s maneuvering thrusters 14 tr2s and the additional equipment that comes with this ship is a scout ship and a rover as you can see this ship has it all i mean you got the scout ship you got a rover not to mention the probes that you can send out so you don't have to put your crew at risk almost like how the empire did the rebels on hoth and then you got the retractable windows for your windshield so you can see everything outside in space and get a beautiful view and then you're under attack you could put it back down i mean it's just awesome now people may be a little bit sad about the cargo units but this ship is modular so you could add them on there so that's another epic win so if i had to pick one ship right now in this game out of all of them that i know of right now i would have to go with this ship right here if i had only had to pick one that's how much i like this ship i mean you can't lose with it it has everything i need everything i want so if you're looking for a ship a bigger ship right now and you actually have maybe even some constellations you're thinking about melting i don't think you would regret it if you melted it for this ship this is just an awesome ship lti great deal i think it's going on to december 8th so you guys go ahead and pick that up but hope you guys enjoyed hope you have a blessed day and one more thing gaming for life